Welcome back to Pages of Magic, guys. My name is Sam, and today I have some more books to show you from a book haul um, from the used books uh, sale, I guess you would say, that I stopped at in Iowa City at the Haunted Bookshop. So, without further ado, let's go through the books. So I already went through all the kids books that you can see back there in my last video and I put Orson Scott cards books in that section because I'm pretty sure they're considered like a juvenile book series. So this set here um, are all I would say classical books. So they're books by the more famous authors. To start out we have Anthem by Anne Rand. So I've only read uh, Atlas Shrugged by her. I, I don't think I actually finished it. I think I only got like halfway through or three quarters of the way through before I moved and I packed up the book and I'd never seen it again except once or twice maybe. Uh, so this one, he lives in dark ages of the future in a loveless world he dared to love the world of his choice. The woman of his choice, sorry. In an age that had lost all tra trace of science and civilization, he had the courage to seek and find knowledge. But these were not the crimes for which he would be hunted. He was marked for death because he had committed the unpardonable sin. He had stood forth from the mindless human herd. He was a man alone. Uh, I don't think I've actually heard anything about this book, but I liked her writing from what I read in Atlas Shrugged, so that's why we got this one. Next one is Animal Farm by George Orwell. So this one, there's a lot of writing in this one, and I'm pretty sure it was used as a school reading book, because there's like pen marks all up here and writing on the back and all that, but uh, this one, <laughs> Another guy had picked this up and he was telling his son about George Orwell writing 1984 and that this was another book, a lesser known book that he had written. Um, and it was 50 cents and the store was locked. You were supposed to put the money for the books that you were going to purchase into their mail slot or go on your phone and I think Venmo or something, the money to the store because they were locked down for COVID because they had a baby and an old person or something, something like that. Anyways, the store was closed and they didn't, they didn't have 50 cents to pay for the book and they didn't want to pay for it over the phone. So they put it back and I hadn't even noticed it when I went through because this was the last book I picked up. After they left, like I went right over there and I grabbed it. I'm like, if they're not going to get it, I'm going to get it because I don't have a copy of this and I haven't read it yet. So it's really thin. And I think I could probably read this in one sitting, no problem. Third one is Uncle Tom's Cabin. Now you'll see this is fairly chunky for Uncle Tom's Cabin uh, by, who is it by? Oh gosh, I've forgotten. Elizabeth Ammons? No. Harriet Beecher Stowe. Oh my gosh. And the reason this one is bigger is it is the Norton critical edition second edition and if we flip it over on the back it's actually the instructor's desk copy so this was um i don't know how much you guys know about iowa city but it is the uh home of the iowa hawkeyes which is a, a big college in iowa i guess i've never heard of it until i came out here but it is uh, so, I believe the bookshop that I went to, the used bookstore, is the only one in town, I think. So there were a lot of books um, that have professors' names and everything written in them. Um, so I think this was probably just an instructor who maybe wasn't teaching the class anymore and sold it, but yeah. So there's like the book section, if we flip it open here has oh my gosh so the contents of it it has the text of Uncle Tom's Cabin 
So that's the like preface, table of contents, illustration, the actual book. And then it has backgrounds and contents. And that is everything from maps to advertisements for escaped slaves to abolition posters, uh, records of torture, uh, letters to the abolitionists. There's, there's a lot. I'll put that closer so you can see it. And then, like, it just keeps going. And then there's criticism as a whole other section. So this is a really, like, in-depth study of the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. And I didn't know that when I picked it up, but after I, I was looking at the back, and I'm like, what does instructor's desk copy mean? And I thought Uncle Tom's Cabin was a lot thinner book than, than what this was. So once I got going through it, I'm like, this is amazing. I'm so excited to delve deeper into this, for sure. So the next one we have is F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Great Gatsby. G Gatsby, sorry, that one. And this one, one, it has the used copy on the side and actually I can't take that off. It's starting to rip up the stuff, um, but this one, has the uh, South Dakota State University sticker in it and a name in it written. But I believe this one it has a little bit a little bit of writing in it. Not as much as what some of the other ones have. Oh shoot. Right there. Right there is like it's just a little bit of writing. Not a lot at all. But I got the Great Gatsby and then I also got F. Scott's Fitzgerald, This Side of Paradise, and this one I believe, um, yes. So this one has a name on it that is actually, she's a professor at the University of Iowa and an author. And a bunch of the books that I got are, or were in her collection. So she put her name and it must be the date that she bought it and where she was living at the time because this one it says uh, 1977 in New York City but some of the other books I have from her um, are I think 1985 she was in Iowa City 1993 she was in Iowa City and 19 or no 2017 she was in Iowa City so this is one of the older ones. It was just fascinating. Like, I, I had to look her up. Her name was in, like, six of the books that I bought. So, yeah. Just, she does go through and makes uh, notes in her books, though. This one's not so much. So she's probably read this one before. But a lot of her other ones, like, I got two or three book of poetry by different authors that she read that were hers. And she, she's marked them up a lot. But I have not read this one, so that will be something I'll have to put on my on my to read page. Now uh, this one is Edgar Allan Poe selected short stories. So I have a huge, I think it's an anthology that I got at Barnes and Nobles, I believe, of Edgar Allan Poe's poems and short stories. But usually I pick up his stuff anytime I can. And this one is an older copy. Um, one, it is, it was in a personal library, which is awesome. And I believe it's 19, was it 19? Yes, 1952. So it's one of the older books, but the spine is really beaten up on it. But I figured I would read it and if there isn't anything, like if the copy that I have has everything that this one does, I might take this apart and use it for journaling. Unless one of you guys really want it and then shoot me a DM and I'll send it to you. But yeah. And then we got three more left. We have The Republic of Plato uh, by Cornford. This, I believe, was a textbook that says used on there and I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So there's highlighting and, and writing all the way through it. So this was used as a textbook at the university, which is fine. Like, that's why I got such 
good books at this bookshop was because a lot of them are like classical books and books on literature and poetry and all that and that's because it is a college town which is nice because you can go to some towns and be like oh <laughs> I guess the people in this town don't read do they so it's nice to actually go to a town where they do read actual books so there is the Republic of Plato this one is the color of purple the color purple by Alice Walker um, now that I look at it I'm pretty sure I own a copy of this already I'm pretty sure I don't think I've ever read it though and this one I believe was also a book for a class um, so that author and teacher or professor that I was talking about I looked her up on on Google and she's a professor of Civil War history at the college so there was actually a lot of books about the Civil War there that they had for sale maybe this wasn't no nope, this wasn't so this is probably just a a personal copy, but I'm pretty sure I have this book actually. I just don't know if I have it in hardcover or not. This one's soft cover, so but 50 cents, I couldn't pass it up. And then the last one for the classicals is The Sketchbook of Joffrey Clayton Gent by Washington Irving. And this one, one, it is a gorgeous cover. Look at that snow scene. Beautiful. The problem is, I didn't realize this, the cover has broken off of it. That's not good. So possibly when I get home I'll be gluing that back in so I don't lose it. Um, and this one was another book by the same professor uh, and she, so this is in 1996 and she was in Iowa City by then. But she just has, it's just short markings. Oh let me find Oh my gosh one time I turned for fiction so she just does short markings on the page on the side and you can see just like that and a lot of the times that's all she does and it's not too bad it's just it shows me that it has been used to study for and it shows me all the like main points that I should be looking out for anything that I miss while I'm reading or anything so yep that is the sketchbook of Joffrey Creighton Gent. I haven't read it or heard anything about it, but uh, I really like Washington Irving. There was something that I read of his that I really like and it stuck with me and I couldn't get it out of my head and I have no idea what it was. So, and I don't think this one would, uh, I don't think this says books by him. And I'm sure you guys know, I'm sure you're like, oh, it's this book Sam how could you not know this one oh, I'm sorry I have a terrible memory Alzheimer's, autism no Alzheimer's runs in my family so that's probably what it is yeah I have no idea no clue watch it be his biography or something I'm such a dummy like that sometimes Oh, the works of Washington Irving. Yeah, it's possible I own that, actually. So, yes. I, I'm just dumb, guys. It's okay. But yeah, these were, if I can get them in a pile, all the books that we got in the classical section at that sale, which is kind of awesome. I was not planning on buying this many books while we're out on the road because we we're still going to be out for like two to two and a half more weeks still it's gonna be a while and we got to find a place to store all these books but with that guys thank you for staying if you stayed this long uh definitely hit that like button if you liked it uh give a little thumbs up uh my name is sam and thank you for watching pages of magic we will see you guys again soon bye